Now I never thought I'd say this, but I actually don't hate email anymore. So it's all thanks to this awesome email app called Missive. And honestly, I don't know how we live without it before. This is something that is great for individuals, but it's also really, really powerful for business communication, for team inboxes, for email collaboration and chat. And we've seen a massive improvement in productivity, but also a huge improvement in reduction of wasted time, managing email conversations back and forth with the team. And no, this is not a sponsored video. Video, they don't even know that we're making this. This has just become such an integral part of how we run Primal Video. So I've been meaning to share this with you guys for a while because I'm sure it's gonna be incredibly useful for a lot of you as well. Enough hype, let's run through how it works, why we love it, how we're using it, and where it's really improved things that we do here at Primal Video. And while we're going through, let me know down in the comments, what email app are you currently using and what's your favorite feature? So this is what Missive looks like. It's a really simple, easy to use, really intuitive interface. This this is my live inbox, so you'll probably find that we've blurred out a few of these things in here. But down the left-hand side, you've got your inboxes, your team inboxes, any shared labels and conversations and stuff. Here is my actual primary inbox. And you can see if you click on an email, it's going to open up in the side here. So very similar to something like Outlook at a surface level. It's got a lot of features that you would expect and things that a lot of the others have too. Things like being able to schedule an email to send later, the ability to star or favorite your emails and to label them as well. You've got this ability to connect this to a lot of different email accounts from Gmail, Office 365, IMAP, Exchange, but not only does it integrate all of your email, it's also a great conversation platform too, because it will manage your SMS, your WhatsApp, your Messenger, Instagram, Twitter, and others as well. So again, whether you're an individual or whether you're managing these things through a business, this becomes really, really powerful because it's not just having access to these things, you can actually allow your team to have access to a lot of this stuff too. And it makes it super easy to share amongst the different accounts without giving people access to the entire account. So this whole team into integration stuff and having everything here as one communication platform is insane for productivity. But in regards to email, you can use this for both your private, your personal stuff and the work and business stuff too. So up here, my inbox is actually a combination of business and personal. If we scroll down further, you can see we've got some team inboxes here that are set up. So we have a primal video master inbox. We also have a primal video support inbox, which is the support account for our primal video accelerator membership. Any support tickets, support inquiries, Inquiries, they all end up here in this box and then they can be delegated out to the team for a fast response. So just this stuff alone is already super powerful, but you can take this up a notch if you're combining it with labels and rules. So you can label your emails just as you can in Gmail or essentially like creating folders and categorizing your emails. So you can see we've got some of those down the bottom, some for invoices, some for Zoom messages, some for questions from our Accelerator program. And all of these get treated essentially like an inbox, but it's where you combine Combining rules with these is where it becomes really, really powerful. So if we come down here to settings and then over to rules, let's go ahead and create a new rule. We can create either rules for our personal conversations, personal emails, or for shared conversations team-wide. We can also choose how these rules are triggered, whether it's through email, SMS, or any of those other communication platforms, or if it's based on an action. So someone's moved an email, someone's responded, or even closed a conversation. So let's just choose email. You then go ahead and name your rule, and then in here you can customize this up. And this is something that is far more powerful than the rules and automations and stuff that you would have built into, say, Gmail. Even right down to things, if an email has gone a certain period of time without being replied, then it can trigger an action. So we've used these rules to not just help us automate a lot of our email messages, but also a lot of the processes and stuff we're working on internally, where we can automatically trigger a message to go out to someone if there's something that's needed of them. Another really powerful feature that we use all the time in here is the ability to tag people in your emails. So irrespective of whether someone actually received this email in their inbox or not, we can simply tag someone and that email is gonna show up inside of their inbox. But we also have the ability in here to have conversations around these emails in line with the email itself. So we don't have to go over to Slack or Workplace or another platform to have a conversation around something that might be happening via email. We can have it all in line. So let's take this Facebook notification email here. If I wanted to add Ellie on the team to this, I can just mention Ellie in it and that's going to tag her with it. It's gonna move it into her inbox as well, but it doesn't move it out of my inbox. I haven't assigned it to Ellie. We can do that too if we'd like, but I've now just essentially started a conversation with Ellie and shared this email with her. I can then actually write something like, have you seen this yet? 
and we're able to have a full on conversation around it again without it going back as an email reply to someone. Then when we are ready to respond to this email, we've got our regular email reply, reply all, all of that usual stuff is in here. So this becomes really powerful if you need to prep stuff before you're responding to an email, but you don't need to do it as an email draft. It can all happen in this safe space, this conversation around the email. Another really powerful feature in here is the saved responses. So let's just say I'm gonna start an email now. I can come up here to new email. I can then come down to this little button here, insert a response, and we have a ton of templates that are built out here for different areas of the business when it comes to responding to emails, maybe from sponsors or questions that come through. We have templates that we've built out in here that we can just click and apply and add to an email really, really quickly without needing to start from scratch each time. And this again makes it super powerful if you're integrating these with some of those automations and rules that you can build out as well. Now, if you are working with teams or you've got someone that's helping you out with your email, you can also share your email signatures in here as well and really set up company profiles files so you don't have to create each individual user's signature manually. You actually have templates for those. So if we open up signatures now, you can see we've got quite a few in here for different email addresses and different types of emails that are going out. Some with more information in that signature box than others. And this is something that again, we can assign to individual team members and some will have access to some and others won't. Now, for those of you who love the idea of reaching inbox zero or using your inbox as your to-do list, then there's also a really powerful snooze feature in here as well. So with this example email here, we can come up here and we can choose to snooze this email, which will remove it from your inbox for later today, this evening, tomorrow, or you can actually pick the date and time. So if we go here later today, this email is now gone. It's hidden from my inbox. I can obviously go back and bring it back from there, but it'll show back up as a brand new email at that time specified. So if there's stuff that you know is not that important for right now, but you've got to get to later in the week, then you can snooze or dismiss those emails until that time. So it makes it really powerful for task management too. There's also a really powerful search feature in here so you can easily find past emails. And there's also a ton of filters for your searches to really help you find something that you're looking for really, really quickly. But if you're someone who loves using keyboard shortcuts to really streamline your workflow, then you're gonna love Missive for that too. Like on a Mac, here, if I press Command K, which would be Control K on Windows, it brings up this prompt where we can either start a new email, a new conversation, new event, or it's actually the search box as well. So we can search directly from here. So there's no way that I'm gonna be covering off on all the features and all the power and stuff that's in here. But another thing that we do use a lot is the integrations. There are some crazy awesome integrations in here with other tools like ClickUp, which is another service that we use. And if we come over here to these three dots and go add integrations, you'll start to see some of the things that you can integrate in here. So you've got Google, Google Drive, you've got Giphy. GIFs are important, you need those. Trello, Todoist, Shopify, video chat. So again, not only can you use this for email and chat management, but this could also be your tool for team conversations and for video calls and stuff too. You've also got Zapier, Zoom, or you can build out some custom ones here as well. Now, probably the biggest thing that I love about Missive is it is the same everywhere. It's an online web app, meaning that their iPhone app, their Android app, their Mac, their Windows apps, they're all the same thing, they're all exactly the same. So you're going to have the exact same experience on each of the different devices. You can log into any of them and they're all going to be exactly the same. Another thing I have to mention is that their support team is incredibly responsive and genuinely wants to help, which is pretty rare these days. There was a couple of times very early on where we found a bug or two, we'd email it through to their support team. And sometimes they'd actually have that fixed within a day or two, which is insane. And I absolutely love that Missive is constantly building and evolving and adding new features. And again, listening to their customers. Now in regards to the downsides or the things to be aware of, I guess the biggest one is just to know that it doesn't work anywhere near as well offline. This is an online tool. So the offline use case is very limited, but if you are someone who wants to be responding to email emails on the plane or clearing your inbox, I have found that it's hit and miss. Some emails can download, others won't. I've been able to draft replies and draft new emails, which obviously will send once you're online. But if the emails you wanna to respond to weren't cached or downloaded before that time, then they're not gonna show up in your inbox. So really not a deal breaker, but something you should be aware of. So like I said, there's a bunch of features and stuff in here. You can scroll through that feature page on their website just to get a full understanding of how much is in here. But in regards to pricing, you've got a few different options. There is a free plan, 
zero dollars per month, which will let you create up to two shared accounts and have 15 day search history. So when you're running a search, it's gonna go back 15 days at a maximum. Up from that is the starter plan for $14 per month per user, up to five users on that plan. That's gonna give you a search history of six months and five shared accounts. But to unlock most of the features in here, like the integrations, the rules, the power stuff, that's where you wanna be on the productive plan for $18 per month per user. And that's gonna unlock that unlimited search history for you too. But I honestly can't stress how powerful this tool is. Again, as someone who has used my inbox as a to-do list and just had email overwhelm, where I'm like, inbox zero was never a thing. This is something that happens all the time for me now, and it makes the process so much easier. But especially for working with teams, this is one of the core components that is helping us run Primal Video. So I think it's an amazing option for anyone looking to streamline their email, looking to bring in stuff like their Twitter, their WhatsApp and everything as well. Whether you're running as an individual, whether you do have a team, this is gonna help you streamline that stuff massively. Now there is one other super powerful tool that I use every single day and it literally runs my life. And you can find all about it with the video that is linked on screen. So I'll see you in there.